Hello, 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 everybody. It's me, Spooks the Whoopsie here with another fun video. Today, guys, we're gonna be doing something a little different. We're gonna be doing a little adventuring in the back rooms. But what are the back rooms? Well, to keep it simple, the back rooms is an urban legend and creepypasta, describing an endless maze of randomly generated office spaces and other environments. And within these realms lurks a darkness. A darkness so evil, it's void of any emotion other than pure anger. That darkness has a name, and it goes by The Howler. There's a ton of mystery and misinformation about this entity, so hopefully this video can clear some of that up, and maybe you guys can learn something about this horrific creature. In this video, we're going to be covering every single known fact about the Howler, and its many variants in the game of Purophobia on Roblox. So let's get into it. But guys, before we start, I would highly appreciate it if you're a fan of Roblox Horror to hit that subscribe button. When you subscribe, I can't promise you some fancy massive Robux giveaway or like a gift card giveaway, but I can promise you that I'll work really, really hard to make the absolute best content I can possibly do. So guys, if you're interested in Roblox Horror, this is your home. And I would absolutely love to have you a part of that journey. So hit that subscribe button, like the video, and maybe comment to say hello, because I'd love to meet you. Anyway, guys, let's get into these lovely facts and hopefully learn something new about the Howler. Fact number one. The Howler isn't that original. You may hear a lot of the community referring to the Howler as the bacteria, and there's a good reason behind that. If you guys didn't know, the Howler is actually heavily inspired by Kane Pixel's The Back Room series, which there's a monster called the bacteria. So the community just calls than that because they're just more familiar with him. Okay, I'm just gonna be honest with you. The Howler is literally a one-to-one -one copy of the bacteria, but it just slapped on a new name. Fact number two. The Howler is found on level zero, so it's basically the first entity most new players will run into. And holy moly, the game starts off pretty darn strong throwing this bad boy at you because he's pretty darn scary. And I won't lie, uh, I kind of cried a little bit the first time I saw him. <laughs> Still have nightmares about it. Still do. Fact number three. So when level zero begins, the howler will start patrolling around the map to go hunt down players and scream at them or howl at them like the name says. <laughs> I know, Mr. Funny. See how white I am? Holy shit. I'm so goddamn white. I'm like, I'm like a little three white. I'm like right under an Irish man. Fact number four. When the howler sees a player, it will start screaming and chasing down the first player it sees. So if you have a friend and he gets detected by the howler, you can honestly just run right past him because he's going to be chasing your homeboy down. So basically, it's survival of the sneakiest. And I guess like a little pro tip, if Howler's chasing down your pal, just go to the exit, make your pal loop him, make him chase him around the map. There's absolutely no point of you both dying. Fact number five. So the Howler acts as a set spawn. He, or I guess it, is always going to spawn near the exit. So if you're speedrunning the game, try not to get there too fast or you're going to run into him. Number 60 Wixie. Here's the current model of the Howler. And in my opinion, he's probably one of the more like better looking models in the game and scariest. Lucky number seven. And here's the old model of the Howler. It's not as good as the current one, but it still gets the job done. Number eight. The model of the Howler was created by the user Ultimate Rage 10 on Sketchfab and is the only model in the game that isn't made by Polaroid Studios. Can I get a number nine? Prior to pre-alpha, the Howler would spawn in a dormant state. In this dormancy, a player could easily walk past it and beat the level. It was common to find the Howler in this state. Honestly, when this was in-game, it made the game super easy and made level zero very, very unfun. Now in level zero, it's actually a challenge because he doesn't sleep, he's always constantly patrolling, which is a good thing. You want the game to be challenging, rewarding, and fun because that's what makes a game fun. You don't want an easy win because an easy win means nothing. You want to actually like, work for it and achieve something. Thing, right? I know the first level in games are supposed to be easy, but this was literally too easy and you barely saw the monster being a monster. Now when you see him, you know you gotta start running. Number 10. The jump scare for the Howler is related to the backroom found footage, where the person aka Kane Pint who no clip in the back room gets lifted up by the Howler and is killed. So if you put the Bacteria's jump scare and the Howler's jump scare side by side, it's basically the same thing. It's kind of like they're the same entity or something. Wow! 
Wow. So yeah, it's fairly obvious that the devs took a lot of inspiration from the bacteria, but that's okay. I'm happy they did. It kind of brings a little bit more legitimacy to the whole series of pure phobia, which is kind of poggers. Number 11. So this might be the most useful fact on this entire list. So listen up. Depending on what difficulty you play on, it will actually change the speed of the howler. The harder the difficulty, the faster the howler becomes. And honestly, I didn't know that for the longest time. I thought the difficulty only affects the amount of lives you get, but apparently affects the AI as well. Good to know, good to know. Fact number 12. The howler also has another variant in the game. It's called the siren. The siren appears to be a stickman-like figure made of twisted pitch black wiring and framing. It has a cone with a light on the end of its head, though some say it kind of looks like a giant camera. Unlucky 13. The siren is so far the only entity added to a level with an existing entity. No other levels have two different types of entities hunting you down. Fact number 14. So the siren will also spawn near the howler. Right beside the exit, the massive event with the ladder. We've already been over that. Off to the next one. Number 15. Burger King foot lettuce. When the siren spawns, it's going to be lurking around the map, searching for players, pretty much the same thing as what the howler does, hunt down people, eat them, you know, the usual in a horror game. <laughs> You're probably starting to notice that the Howler and the Siren are quite similar, but guys, trust me, they're quite different. Let me show you. Number 16. So when the Siren finds you, it's gonna scream and scream and scream and scream until your eardrums literally bleed. When the Siren finds a player, it will scream very loudly and summon a large green aurora around it. That scream will also like blur the player's vision unless you get away from it or like look away from it. Basically, like most horror games, if something's screaming at you, you should probably run the other way. Unless you're like your 10 IQ, then maybe go hug it or something. I, I don't know. Number 17. All right, guys. So this isn't very the most um happy fact, but basically the siren kills you by literally exploding your eardrums. That's a way I don't want to go. <laughs> For the people who don't know, I've been a musician for 10 years, I'm a drummer, so I kind of enjoy my hearing, I like music, I like making music, so I, I don't want to die by losing my goddamn hearing. And to be honest, this is probably one of the more gruesome ways to die in this game. At least with the other monsters, they just like bite your face off and you're instantly dead. But imagine a monster literally screaming so loud, your head explodes. I don't know who designed this creature, but the person who did, um, you scare me. <laughs> you scare me a lot. Number 18. When the siren does his like little scream, well not so little, not kind of massive scream. It's actually going to attract the howler to that location and the howl will start approaching quite, quite rapidly. Number 19. This entity can actually cancel the six cent perk while screaming, just showing little circles instead of the outlines. Number 20. The sign was actually inspired by another Kane Pixels creation. The sign was heavily inspired by the tripod bacteria. And here's what the tripod bacteria looks like in the back room series. As you can tell, the tripod bacteria looks quite similar to the siren. 21, number 21. Ben? So in level zero, there's actually a chair called the Ben chair, which is a reference to, you know, Ben. Ha, <laughs> funny dog. But there's something very, very special about that chair. If you stand on top of it, the howler and the siren cannot hurt you. Oh, great, Ben. Thank you for keeping us safe, I guess. You guys wanna see my new religion? It's, uh, it's Ben. Guys, drop a like right now if you worship Ben Chair. All hail the Ben Chair for keeping us safe from the howler and the siren. Bless the holy chair. Number 22. The siren is the only entity in the whole game that doesn't have a jump scare. When he kills you, you kind of just like die, I guess. And that's probably because like we were discussing earlier, the siren doesn't really kill you with like his self he kind of just screams at you number 23 the howler and the siren are the size of two r6 models on top of each other guys try to imagine a monster that's literally two times the size of you 
So there we have it guys. That's everything I know about the Howler. Like always, feel free to comment more facts if you know anything about them. I would love to hear them. But yeah, I really like the Howler and Apirophobia. I'm really excited to make more videos about Apirophobia. I'm just not sure what entity I'm going to do next. Comment down below what entity you want to see because I do read all the comments most of the time. Oh, and before we go guys, make sure you guys check out my last video. It's a whole video about this like Roblox creepypasta. Trust me guys, you're going to love the video if you watch it. Just give it a chance. It's really spooky and it's really, really well edited. It's just a great story. You're going to love it. Trust me. Anyway guys, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching the video and I hope you guys just have a blessed, blessed day. Adios guys. Love ya. Cheers.